Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. I want to talk about using counterfactuals effectively. What is a counterfactual? A counterfactual is something that didn't happen. Okay? And bottom line is a lot of times people will say, well, if this had happened, this would have happened. As if there was only one alternative or there was an obvious alternative um, history. And that's a counterfactual. Um, problem is when you, you don't know what, the, what would have actually happened. And a lot of times, most people always gravitate towards a counterfactual that most confirms their bias. Okay, so let's say we're talking about um, what would happen if the uh, if government cut completely out of health care. If you're left-leaning, you'll basically say, well, I would expect that basically everyone would just die. Everyone would just not get health care, and because the government's not involved, uh, greed would take over and everyone would just not have health care and die. Uh, or something just really horrible because government is not involved. If you're sort of libertarian leaning, you think, okay, well, businesses are just gonna fill that gap and start businesses right away to cater to that new demand for what the government used to do. So basically, uh, that will be taken care of soon enough. Both of these are overly optimistic counterfactuals in the sense that they, they, there is a process which in either might happen but they expect they're shortening that process in a sense. So in a sense, like a libertarian, as a, and I'm a libertarian, I do expect that you know market forces would lead to businesses trying to cater to that need, that demand. But it's not necessarily going to happen soon. Uh, some some aspects of it will happen soon, probably. But there are going to be some things that are harder to figure out, especially as prices change, the, b prices change, institutions change, out of a struggle of a lot of different things. So it might actually look kind of bleak in the short run. And when I say the short run, maybe, you know, the first year or something like that, um, as people figure out, you know, how to rearrange resources in the economy. Okay. And again, oftentimes on the, on, on the, to give sort of the, the play the devil's advocate, sometimes when we talk about putting in a new government rule, Again, someone on the left will assume that you know everything's just going to work out perfectly. The government's going to perfectly implement it. The people who are doing the rule will have the best of intentions, and everyone's just going to follow the rule, and the problems are going to go away. Well, the libertarian assumes the exact opposite: that the rule is going to really increase barrier costs to the barriers of entry, which is going to favor the pe the bigger incumbents, so it's actually going to make cronyism worse, and that the, the, the people who are actually in charge of implementing the rule don't necessarily have the best intentions, or they're incompetent, so they're not going to enforce it well, um, or implement it well, and it's going to be horribly inefficient, when the reality is probably somewhere in between, okay? Uh, you know, maybe the gov the, 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 some government policies do have some good consequences. Again, it's more of a cost, it's not necessarily that basically everything is pure benefit in one way and pure cost the other. Oftentimes we argue it that way, we, we, we debate this way, where basically everything's all good or all bad. It's, there's, there's costs and benefits, there's trade-offs in everything that you do. As a libertarian, I feel that the libertarian perspective has to trade-offs that I think are the best, in the sense that as far as what are you getting for what are you giving up, okay, um, it basically is the best for society. Um, and that's going to be based on, again, what you think the counterfactual is, what you think the end consequence is uh, of making any societal change, whether it meaning getting government out or in something. So if you expect it to work, either to work out well or work out poorly, and also what do you think the cost of doing that is. And again, those perspectives change in different people, and that's what we need to have a dialogue to, one, refine our ability to kind of know what to expect. But also we have to make sure that we don't get so into what we believe is right that we assume that nothing can go wrong or act like nothing goes wrong in our version of events. And this is what I know is always with counterfactuals. People will create counterfactual examples that are sort of perfect based on sort of what it is that they're trying to confirm. What it, it, it is like you're assuming that all these different actors are going to just do exactly the right things, have the right incentives to confirm whatever their bias is. And honestly, it's again, it's the reality of things. It's not going to always confirm any of those. We have to make an effort to compare things, not to the best 
alternative or even the worst alternative but to the most realistic alternative what's the most realistic thing that'll happen if x happens or if x doesn't happen and then based on that you make your assessment of what your position is it's tough because we're all naturally biased to think that the most realistic alternative is what suits our views the most or the best and again, thinking, trying to think through that in an objective way to get to something that's closer to what's realistic or what's the realistic alternative doesn't mean you're foregoing your views or watering down your views. It just means that you're just being critical um, and thoughtful about it. So just want to kind of put that out there uh, just because I notice this a lot of people saying, you know, it's like, well, if this happens, everything's going to happen perfectly. If this happens, everything's going to happen in the worst way possible. It's, it's not that black and white. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. Have a great day and enjoy.